All right, so I don't know, man. I'm just like I'm getting these. I'm just getting these ideas today, or the, I'm just I don't know what it is, but uh, Philippians two twelve, right? Two twelve. Because this is the thing, man. People just like focus on certain things, and I'm not trying to do that. Like, look, I, this is my this is my thing, man. No, there's nothing more in the core of my being that wants to be, that, that wants to believe and wants to say to always say. I want to believe that. So when people hear me, you know, pointing out scriptures that makes you think twice about about eternal security, I don't want people to think like I'm I'm against you because I'm not. I want to believe and want to say to always say, I really do wish it was that way, but I know that I was baptized as a Christian around 18 or 19 years old, and I went to hell maybe not even eight, seven, seven, eight years ago, I ended up in hell as a Christian, you know, so... I just think it's deeper, man. I just think it's deep. I, I know I have a relationship with the Lord. And I know that I, I'm corrected and rectified when I do things that I'm not supposed to be doing. Like, it weighs heavy, heavy, heavy on my heart. I can't sleep. I can't do nothing until I get back right with the Lord. I mean, that's for, with me. So, I think sometimes, man, people that preach that, that comfortable doctrine, I, I just wonder how, like... How much are they exposed to in their day-to-day -day life? Like, how much are they actually out in the world every day? Like, actually seeing what's going on, being put in situations, being around all the, the, the evil stuff that's going on. Do they Are they actually seeing all these people that proclaim Jesus Christ and have crosses and, 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 and say that they're believers, but... but their fruits don't show. I got that written down somewhere too. You know what I mean? You have to judge them by their fruits. You know what I'm saying? Let integrity and uprightness uphold me. Know you, know you by your fruit. Laodicea. You know what I mean? Uh... Oh, what's this? The words we speak. Okay, I was talking about that earlier. Two biggest sins. Selfish ambition and unforgiveness. Sin is sin. Agree with God. Feel godly sorrow for all sin. Confess our sins one to another. Put something in place that we won't do again. Replace the sin. Forgive ourselves. The one sin that will lead you to hell is the one you won't repent of. None of us are perfect, and we have to forgive to be forgiven. So back to Philippians 2.12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But then you have everybody like, oh, uh, you you can't earn you can't earn your salvation. And da, 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 da. hold on, let me see what Revelation twenty twelve says, because I believe Revelation twenty twelve. says something about how how we will be judged according to our works. So I don't believe works can get you into heaven. Only Jesus can get us into heaven. I know that. That's I mean that that's a no-brainer. But what I what what but what what uh but what the saying is, I mean, we have to work out our own salvation with, with, with fear and trembling. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which, which were written in the books according to their works. So, yeah, I don't know. But uh, just something to think about.